Sa video natin ngayon, magkakalculate tayo ng change in enthalpy using Hess's Law. Hess's Law, if a chemical equation can be written as the sum of several other chemical equations, the enthalpy change of the first chemical equation equals the sum of the enthalpy changes of the other chemical equations. Ibig sabihin nito, para makuha natin um, change in enthalpy or enthalpy change ng final reaction, kailangan lang natin kunin ang sum of the individual enthalpy changes of the other thermochemical equations. To be able to get the sum, you have to determine first what you must do to the given thermochemical equations to get the target equation or the final equation. You can multiply with a factor n to get the same number of moles with the target equation. Pwede ka rin mag-flip or reverse. Pwede mo rin mag-cancel or mag-add or do nothing. Explain ko sa inyo isa-isa when we do the examples. Analyze natin ang ating final reaction. Ang reactant natin ay HG2Cl2 or mercury chloride yields 2HG plus Cl2. Now, sa ating thermochemical equation number 1, ang HG at ang Cl2 ay makikita natin sa reactant side, which is... Um, Sa ating final reaction, ito ay nasa um, product side. So, anong kailangan natin gawin? Kailangan natin i-flip o i-reverse ang ating thermochemical equation number 1. And so, kailangan din natin i-change ang sign ng ating change in enthalpy. Paano naman ang pangalawang uh, thermochemical equation. So, ang ating HG ay matatagpuan din sa at, um, reactant side. So, kailangan din natin itong i-reverse. Pagkatapos nating mag-reverse or mag-flip ng ating thermochemical equations, pwede na tayong mag-cancel ng mga unwanted reactants or products. As long as matatagpuan natin ang uh, mga ito on the different sides of the equation. One reactant and the other one in the product side. And so, we can now get the sum of the uh, individual Delta H, so it will be positive 224 kilojoules plus 41.2 kilojoules is equal to 265.2 kilojoules. Here is our example number 2. Let us determine what we should do with the thermochemical equations. So, we have in the final reaction, we have CS2 plus TO2 yields CO2 plus 2SO2. Tingnan natin yung ating mga reactants and products. So, ang isa na makikita natin sa thermochemical equation number 1 ay yung CO2. Kung saan ang CO2 sa ating final reaction ay nasa product side at sa ating thermochemical equation, ito rin ay nasa product side. So, let us do nothing with thermochemical equation number 1. As is lang siya kasi pareho rin naman sila ng number of mo. Let us now proceed with thermochemical equation number 2. So, dito naman makikita natin na tama pa rin ang position ng reactants and products. Ang ating SO2 ay nasa product side kapareho din ng ating final reaction. However, ang ating final reaction ay may roong number of moles na 2. That's why we need to multiply the second thermochemical equation by 2. 
Sa ating third thermochemical equation, makikita naman natin ang CS2 na nasa product side samantalang sa ating final reaction ito ay matatagpuan sa reactant side. That's why we need to flip or reverse our third thermochemical equation and also change the sign of the delta H. Now, pwede na natin i-cancel ang mga unwanted na mga reactants and products. Check kung tama yung mga naiwan natin ng mga reactants and products. Compare natin sa final reaction. By the way, uh, pwede natin i-add ang O2 dahil pareho sila na nasa reactant side. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 3O2 on the reactant side. Or, 3 moles of O2 and uh, it will yield uh, CO2 plus 2SO2. Then, get the sum and you will get the change in enthalpy.